Eric the Midget, go ahead, then i got to take a break. Hello, uh, Stern. Remember me? Yeah, I, I know you. Stern. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Eric the Midget, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to talk for a little bit uh, about American Idol. Oh, boy. I, I tried calling through last week when you had the judges on, but all I got was um, being left on hold. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you get a little boring. You call every day, and all you want to talk about is American Idol, and I've told you repeatedly, I've given you money, I've given you prizes, that you do have a medical condition, you are a midget, I feel bad for you, but dude, you gotta. If you're gonna get laid or you're gonna meet people, you gotta stop worshiping American Idol. Your, your whole life is built around American Idol. You have posters in your room of American Idol. It's enough already. What uh, did you have to say to the judges? Even Paul Abdul would make fun of you. I just wanted to talk to him about the show and you know see what um, you know things are coming up for this. One and stuff it's the same like show as last oh, year. That sounds very exciting, Eric. I'm sorry you didn't get through. <laughs> this kid loves American Idol. Oh, he's obsessed. You know what? I love American Idol, too. I like to watch it, but I'm not building my life around it. Why don't you go to some of those little people meetings? I haven't been to any of those for quite a while. Meet some people your size. People like Kelly Clarkson I think they're so good. They're not going to go out with a midget. I know it. The chicks wants a full-size guy. Well, people who lost American Idol wouldn't be bothered with it. <laughs> you know, Tamira wouldn't go out with a midget. <laughs> Maybe Justin Guarini would. <laughs> you know what you ought to do? Seriously, you ought to enroll in that clown college. You know how much work Marty the Midget gets? The kid's rolling in dough and he's getting full-size chicks. Or acting school. Yeah. Mini-Me. <laughs> Mini-Me's making a fortune, that guy. I don't know where any acting schools are up here in no. Northern California. In California? California, you can't find an acting school. Well, I'm in Northern California. I'm not near L.A. Oh, come on, man. Open up the yellow pages. I'm sure you can find something. How tall are you? About three foot six. You're probably lying about that. you got star potential. Are you funny looking like Minnie Me? I'm, tall, I'm taller than him. He's in the two-foot range. Oh, so you're even too big to be in a movie. Oh, come on. He could be like an elf or something. He doesn't have to be the main dude. Yeah, he could be like that guy in... Uh, <laughs> remember the one with uh, the dwarf who was like a leprechaun? Yes, leprechaun. Yeah, that was, that was good. <laughs> are your fingers normal size or are they tiny? Well, they're... Not like the door fingers, you know, like uh, short and stubby, but they look like the hands of a little kid. Can you fit in a washing machine? don't think I'd want to try. No, but I'm saying, could you if I needed to get you in one? I'm trying to gauge your size. Yeah, I guess. That's pretty good. Yeah. He's smaller than Hank. Three foot eleven. How big was he? Three Hank? foot six. I think Hank was three foot nine. Yeah, then that's good. I don't know why you're sitting home watching American Idol, fantasizing about Kelly Clarkson and Paul Abdul. I think he's fantasizing about Justin. Oh no! No, he's no homo. <laughs> no, no. I may live near San Francisco, but that's not. Uh -huh. Well, you do have a lot of wrestling pictures hanging up in your room. <laughs> yeah. All right, are you done? Well, um, I was wondering if you could help me get some acting. Like you help, like, Beetlejuice and stuff. Dude, I'm giving you so much money. Put it toward acting. You know what kind of work is out there for midgets? Tons. Can you box? Not really. No. This kid depresses me. I know, he's always so sad, and then he starts carrying on about American Idol. You get <laughs> makes me crazy. Crazy from it. All right, can I go now? Yeah, I guess so. I, I emailed you this morning. About what? Um, 
Oh, what was it? It was about uh, wanting to get back on that show and uh, stuff like that. I don't mention anything about American Idol this time. Hey, get off that. Not getting you any good. Sitting at home with that American Idol. There's a daycare center you should go to. Men with open arms? <laughs> Bill, go ahead. You have a question? Yeah, Howard. Yeah. I want to know, uh, you always have these midgets on, and they always talk about their regular-sized penis. I'm wondering if uh, a female midget has a regular-sized vagina. Do you have a regular penis? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Why but is that? What about the female? I don't even have a regular size penis. Yeah, why does he have a regular size penis? I don't know. You know, Hank the Dwarf had a big penis. You're kidding. Yeah, he, he did. I, I didn't see it, thank you. used to piss me off. Oh. You sure it's regular? Yeah. I look at my minuscule member and I go, you know, I'm six foot five, for Christ's sake. Ugh. Oh. And this kid. Has a, a big penis. Yeah. Can hardly carry it around. It's dragging the ground. Measure it right now. Tell me how big it is. I don't have anything to measure. Yes, you do. Don't tell me you don't measure that thing every day. I don't. Well, get that slide rule out. <laughs> yeah. Get your ruler out. <laughs> I don't have one anywhere near. When you write to Kelly Clarkson, don't you use a ruler so you, all the lines will be straight? So your script will look perfect? How many letters have you written to Kelly Clarkson? Tell the truth. None. Oh. Liar. I want to get this kid to one of those little people meetings and get him laid. Get him a midget girlfriend. Where is that convention? We'll just send him there. We're going to send you, all right? Where? Little person's convention. Don't they hold it in Las Vegas? Yeah. Where is, um, when is that? I don't know. I'm going to look into it. i got to go. All right. This kid sounds so depressed. I know. Try to cheer him up. There's no cheering this kid up. What is it, Carlos? Yo, Howard, I don't know why you waste your time with that little kid. He's always calling and begging for money. Oh, Howard, help me with this. Howard, help me with that. Just hang up on him. Give it up, kid. Give it up. Get a light. So Thank annoying. You. Thank you. What <laughs> a compassion in our audience. <laughs> all right, my brother. I got to go, okay? Okay. All right, good luck. Mm -hmm. Call me again. I'll, I'll see if I can look into this whole thing I'm working on for you. Is there anyone coming on this week that's uh, cool? Any yes. Celebrities? James Brown. Okay. Or I'll call back sometime and check on the little person. The kid with the Sopranos, Robert Eiler. Oh, he's yeah. He's coming on here. 50 Cent, the rap star. Really? Fifty cent. What do we know about him? Isn't he involved in the? Uh, what? Of course. The uh, Jam Master J case. I don't know. But he's coming in. Fifty cent. Yes, Robin, you're right. Yes. Yeah, he'll be here. All right, Anyone, thanks, dude. Anyone from WWE? Not this week. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> that kid puts me into a whole warp. Mm. What do you do with him? So far, nothing we've done has helped. No. <laughs> I think we've tried everything. All right, we got to take a break. Sorry we slowed everything down with that kid, but I had to hear what was on his mind. He fascinates me. Well, now that American Idol's back on, I'm sure we'll be hearing from him as they winnow through those uh, ten contestants. All right, we'll be back right after these words.